Under the Safe Drinking Water Act, uranium mining is regulated as a Class III mining activity, and in Texas, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality has responsibility for Class III mining. So, a permit application has to be filed for uranium mining with TCEQ, and then there is a process of both asking for and ultimately getting a contested case hearing and then actually having a trial type proceeding over whether the permit should be issued or not and that decision is the responsibility of TCEQ on everything except what's called an aquifer exemption and with the aquifer exemption EPA has a role in that as well. Aquifer exemption is a process by which a portion, either an, an entire aquifer or a portion of an aquifer, can be exempted, and, which means it's no longer protected from contamination under the Safe Drinking Water Act. So it's basically a variance, it's a way of exempting some portion of the groundwater from being protected. With regard to the TCEQ regulations, I've just spent a lot of time going through them in some detail, and they're very, very vague, and they're very, very poorly drafted in my opinion. They need to be much more clear about what you can and cannot do, what the geology requirements are, what the technical specifications of an application are. Uh, I read an application for a project in Goliad County, read more like a PR you know, press release than it did a scientific application. I don't think that's a good way to go about putting an application together. It needs to be science, it needs to be rigorous, um, and some of these aren't quite as rigorous as one might hope they would be for something as serious as uranium mining. One of the real concerns that, that we've got is restoration. Uh, you know, in fact, if you get a permit, that there may be contamination of the groundwater from the activity and uh, trying to make sure it gets cleaned up. Technologically, yeah, and I mean, you know, a lot of promises get made, but the problem is once the cost issue comes to the forefront, a lot of times the agencies excuse non-compliance because it's too costly. I think that we in Texas ought to insist on more 